Katie, and this is your Galco Industry Update. On this week's Industry Update, we'll be looking at a self-driving talking shuttle and a new way to make chocolate that could make it healthier. Ali, the 3D printed self-driving minibus is ready to roll. Designed and produced by Local Motors, Ali was unveiled last week outside the U.S. Capitol. Ali was designed with most of its components being 3D printed. The shuttle can be printed in just 10 hours, assembled in one, and easily revamped based on what the customer needs. Ali is capable of carrying up to 12 passengers. Local Motors also partnered with IBM to integrate the supercomputer platform Watson into the user interface. The end result is an on-demand transportation solution that passengers can summon with a mobile app like Uber. Using Watson's cognitive computing power for natural language recognition, the vehicle will be able to understand and even talk to passengers. Watson will be able to answer questions like where is it going, how long will it take to get there, and how it's making its driving decisions and much more. The driving itself will be controlled by a system with more than 30 sensors. Well, Google and other automakers plan to test their versions of autonomous vehicles for several more years, Local Motors says Ali is ready to deploy as soon as regulations allow. Local Motors will demonstrate Ali in National Harbor, Maryland over the next few months. At least 50 countries worldwide have expressed interest. And we all love chocolate, so how about a healthier way to eat it? Physicists at Temple University have developed a new approach to manufacturing chocolate that could lower its fat content without using substitutes. Current techniques rely on a high fat percentage to keep chocolate in liquid form during production. Too little fat and the chocolate flow will jam. Researchers have figured out how to prevent that process with the clever application of an electric field. The method uses a concept called electroreology, a field concerned with the deformation and flow of matter when affected by electricity. When an electric field is applied in the same flow direction as the liquid chocolate stream, it reduces the chocolate's viscosity. The field polarizes cocoa particles so they are able to reorient and aggregate the particles inside the chocolate, turning them into short chains that flow more easily. The less vicious mixture means a lower minimum required fat content. The research was spurred by a desire to create chocolate that was healthier to consume. Authors expect a new class of healthier and tastier chocolate to hit the market soon thanks to a clever application of electrical engineering. That's it for this week's industry update. Stay tuned next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.